Welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about the new audiogram creation tools inside of Descript and how I think about creating better audiograms, especially if you have like an interview show where there's always multiple speakers or you with somebody else uh, and you want to bring in a new photo and just build better uh, audiograms to promote on social media and just look different, more branded, better, fun. Here's how we do it. Uh, I like to start out in Canva. You can use Canva as a free uh, graphic design tool to build your over your overall template for what this audiogram might look like. And I just like to think of the big, broad pieces that I want to have every single time I create an audiogram. And for me, that's the logo. It could be your cover art of your podcast. Certainly the photos of either yourself talking and your guest or just your guest. Sky's the limit on creativity when you're building it out in Canva first and then bringing it into Descript. Uh, Descript has some tools that you could customize, but it's just not the app that you want to use to fine tune the graphics and the, and the real uh, rich stuff. So start off in Canva, build your template, export your template, which I've already done. Uh, and I will bring in that graphic right here to the start of my audiogram. If you've never seen Descript before, Descript is an app that transcribes your audio into text and then you edit your audio through text. It's an amazing tool. I have other videos about that on the channel. I'm not going to cover all of that stuff today. In fact, I'm going to show you just three or four main things that they've released that makes creating audiograms really fun. So you can see that I extended the track of that graphic uh, because what that does here on the right hand side you'll see now I'm, I'm in a video editor now I'm in video editing mode by just simply bringing in that graphic asset into the audio it says hey we're making a video now we can export this as a video and that template will export the length of your entire uh, uh, video here that we're creating so that's cool that's fun but we're gonna make it better we need what normal audiograms have which are words and generally a waveform to show some kind of excitement here uh, as people scroll through social media. So let's take a look at some of these tools that they introduced. We're going to add in what they call fancy captions and you'll see it drop it right in the bottom there. I'm going to bring this up to the top near my name and I'm only going to extend this track to, uh, to my side of the clip. All of this in the pink uh, is just me talking. It's the first half of this audiogram. And then the second half of the audiogram is Craig. So let's go ahead and bring in a fancy caption for Craig. And then we'll extend that through the rest of the audiogram and bring this down next to Craig. So you might already be seeing what I'm getting at here. I'm creating this audiogram. It's going to be up to the top half, me talking. You're not going to hear this when I hit play, but you'll see the words moving up top. That's my side of the conversation happening in the clip. Then as we pass down to Craig, the word moves, the words move down below to next to his avatar. A little fun, a little exciting, a little bit more engaging. Let's click on the fancy caption because that's not all. You can customize how the text looks. You can bring in your own fonts. You can search for Google fonts. You can really customize the look and feel um, of the the fancy captions but what i really like uh which is i'm going to show you here is they have that word level animation and now you see the words are animated a lot more there's the spoken word at the t at the time is highlighted uh, it's got a different background color now as we transition to craig it's just a lot more engaging and your eyes and your ears begin to pay attention a lot more and this is where you start to win out with creativity and making your audiograms better than just your average audiograms that we see a lot of podcasters creating. Not, not that there's not anything wrong with that. If you've reached the point where all you can do is create your standard audiogram, which you can do in Descript, if that's all you have time for, that's great. You got to do it because there's a whole bunch of podcasters not doing it and not promoting their show. So thumbs up if you're even just doing the most basic audiograms. Now we can add some other fun features. Um, like waveforms. So we've seen this before in other uh, audiogram tools. The waveform allows us to have just, again, a little bit more fun and design around our audiogram. And I might take this and put it right below my words and change the style to, let's say, wave. And then we'll add in another waveform for Craig. 
waveform. Bring that below, place that here, switch that to wave. So when we play the words now, again, you're not going to hear this, but you'll see this on the screen. I have this nice little waveform, um, you know, below my text. So it's just a, tr a little bit more attractive, a little bit more catchy to the eye for somebody to pay attention to. Again, play with this, play with the design uh, and have fun with it. Totally up to you on how you want to design it. And last but not least, there's this other little feature called the progress bar. So you'll see it just defaulted to the bottom because I was playing with this before. The progress bar is exactly that. As the video plays, just pay attention to the bottom. Oh, I might have it off screen so you don't see it. Let's bring this out to here. There we go. Now you'll see at the bottom this progress bar moving across the frame uh, of the video. Uh, again, it's totally up to you whether or not you want to use these tools. It's just a little fun factor uh, to creating audiograms. Kind of indicates, hey, there's this much left in the audiogram. Kind of gives that, uh, that feel to the, to the viewer that they should be paying attention or the end is almost near, that kind of thing. So fun little tools now inside of Descript to make much better uh, audiograms. If you want to export, we go to share and export, and you can export this directly as a video so that you can send this out to your social media. And just so you can see it, uh, they have this standard audiogram, audiogram tool, excuse me, which is, it's, it's fine. It's great. You should be doing it if you can't do anything else at all, uh, but it's just not as fun or exciting or interactive for you to build, but still it works. It's words, it's text, it's the waveform. You can play through a different uh, templates that they have. You can set a background image, but you're not going to have all of that customization features. And it certainly won't look uh, as engaging as maybe this does. Or maybe you don't like this. In fact, let me know in the comments, how good is my graphic design? Uh, I am not a graphic designer by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just trying to make something stand out in social media. And maybe this would. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. See you in the next video.